Welcome to my channel. Uh, in this video, I will show how to make pyranometer from Arduino. I was trying to make it for, for a long time and again I finished some time ago. Uh, in the last year, August actually. With this project, you can uh, save your data into SD card with dates and hours. Use it if you need it, but uh, if you don't need it, you don't need to use this uh, part of the project. You can uh, use solar panels on the roof and if you need some data before doing that, you can use this pyranometer. So uh, what we need in this project? As you can see in the pictures, uh, we need Arduino clock module, step up battery, solar panel for charging, a breadboard or you can uh, solder everything and you don't need to use breadboard after that. LCD if you need it because if you use LCD your battery will be uh, will not go less longer. And you need some cables. We need in this project all these things. Also we need electric box uh, for rainy days if you will use this outside and if you have also 3d printer you can use my design i uh, put in the description you can find it from there uh, if i come to the code uh, you, firstly you need to learn by yourself if you can't do it alone uh, please ask me so i can put the link uh, below in the description in the video uh, right now you are seeing it uh, you can see the uh, 250 per watts per square meter it is low because uh, the weather was cloudy if the weather is cloudy uh, you can't get that much higher irradiance because most of the sunlight uh, reflects by the clouds to the space and also uh, after made this project you need to calibrate your uh, Arduino because uh, I made this in Turkey and it is average sunlight irradiance actually 1000 watts per square meter. It can change uh, according to your country. Maybe it can change that much but still it can uh, change some numbers. Also I will put an article I read some times ago and it helped me to make this project and, and change it to Arduino. It is not actually fully mine, I can say that. It is uh, their project and I changed it to the Arduino. And it really helped me to learn things. So in the end, after you made this project, you will have a fully functional pyranometer with Arduino and in a cheap way. And it actually, uh, can you can compare it with uh, commercial pyranometers. If you like my video, please subscribe and like the video. And if you want to support me, uh, you can buy my design uh, from another uh, website that I put uh, the link in again in the description. And thank you for watching the video.